So Apple has a plan with the M1 iPad Pro, and I'm going to share with you what I think it is. So, let's begin. And before, of course, please subscribe and stuff. And let's get right into this. So, you know, everyone was upset. Final Cut didn't come to the M1 iPad Pro. And, you know, it was a bummer for everyone, even me, who wasn't even going to use it. You know, I don't even have an iPad Pro. But then, I was listening to Genius Bar, like, I was, like, addicted to the Genius Bar podcast. And John said how it just clicked for him. Why didn't it come? He knows why. It's because they want to wait a few years, so, you know, more people will get the support for it. I don't know if I make, I'm making any sense, but there will be more M1 or M1X or M2 iPad Pros out there. There will be. There will be. And once there is, like, at least three more generations or two more generations, then this one will get support for Final Cut. You know, not just those ones after. You know, or not, because if they, if they released Final Cut, like, now, or if they just released it, like, a few weeks ago, only the M1 iPad Pros would get Final Cut support. You know, if, even the 2020 iPad Pro, which is an amazing deal, you would not have Final Cut on that. 2018 iPad Pro, no. You know, probably the, t I'd say they'd wait for a few more generations, then... Once they do release Final Cut a dub dub, then, excuse me, then the old iPad, or now it's the new one, um, as of 2021, will get support. So that is what I think it is. I agree with John Prosser. I think that's what it is. So thank y'all for watching. This is Gavin here from Gavin's iOS World. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!